Just weeks away from the U.S. elections, the question of who can beat the virus has now taken center stage in American politics. But before we get into the details of the political climate in the United States, here is a comprehensive timeline of the coronavirus outbreak and the U.S. President Donald Trump's response. Take a look. When it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. They said, is this just like flu? Because people die from the flu. Lord, let the death angel pass over. Let there be a mitigation of this plague, this disease, let medical science come forth. We hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question. We will have a safe and effective vaccine this year, and together, we will crush the virus. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the issue of what happened when you were in France continued to be a school. You're going to have to take that off, please. Just, you can take oh. it off. Just based on some of your recent tweets, sir, do you... Um, you sound so clear. Why did you lie to the American people, and why should we trust what you have to say That's now? That's a terrible question, and the phraseology... I didn't lie. What I said is we have to be calm. We can't be panicked. With deaths from the coronavirus outbreak nearing 200,000 in the United States, questions mount over the arrival of a vaccine ahead of the November elections. Trailing behind the, the rival Joe Biden, U.S. President Donald Trump has now repeatedly teased the imminent arrival of a coronavirus vaccine and has explicitly tied it to the election calendar. This time he has promised for a vaccine next month. Listen to this. We're on track to deliver and distribute the vaccine uh, in a very, very safe and effective manner. Uh, we think we can start sometime in October. Uh, so as soon as it uh, is announced, we'll be able to start. That'll be from mid-October on. Uh, Maybe a little bit later than that, but uh, we'll be all set. But the head of the but the director of the U.S. top health body, Robert Redfield, has contradicted President's claims on the timing for a vaccine in a congressional testimony to appropriations committees. Redfield has said that the vaccine will be available to the general public, but not before 2021. If you're asking me when is it going to be generally available to the American public so we can begin to take advantage of vaccine to get back to our regular life, I think we're probably looking at third, late second quarter, third quarter, 2021. And almost immediately, the Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden took the opportunity to attack his rival, Donald Trump. The former vice president has assailed Trump for playing politics with the potential coronavirus vaccine and said that he doesn't trust the president. So let me be clear. I trust vaccines. I trust scientists. But I don't trust Donald Trump. And at this moment, the American people can't either. I'll level with the American people. I'll take responsibility. And I'll support, rather than tear down the experts responsible for the day-to-day -day execution of the plan. I'll simply follow the science. Now, for more insights into the recent vaccine developments, our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report from New York. Listen in. 
developing and distributing a coronavirus vaccine has taken center stage in the 2020 U.S. presidential elections. U.S. President Donald Trump has signaled that a vaccine may be approved before November 3rd. However, his Democratic contender, Joe Biden, and his running mate, Senator Kamala Harris, have raised doubt on whether the president will meddle in the scientific findings and process, despite the fact that public officials have noted time and again they won't be swayed by politics. Joe Biden has made clear that he supports a vaccine. In fact, he's put together a team of veteran health experts and former administration officials to come up with a plan should a vaccine be approved next year and he occupies the White House. Republicans, for their part, blame the Democrats for instilling fear and panic among their supporters by undermining faith in a vaccine that may be approved during the Trump administration. Health experts say a vaccine will be approved more likely sooner than later. However, the real challenge will be mass distribution among the hundreds and millions of Americans. Susan Tehrani from New York for We On. World is One.